Hello, citizens of the world, and welcome to another episode of Ryan Lowry's Fables of Scientific Wonderland. Last week I met the weirdest cashier ever in a most unlikely place. Friday night and the wind is howling and I am to pick up my wife at a thrift store. It's damp, cold night and I'm feeling my work weak in my throbbing feet and flinching tight temples. I pull up my economy-sized golf cart with doors to the Sally Ann and inside my wife is deciding between wacky pants. She shows me a big frumpy sweater she wants me to wear. Turns out to be really comfortable, but it makes me resemble a green Sharpe. As what happens with my wife and I, whenever we're close to books and movies, we flutter over to the books and movies and I inspect the 99 cent video cassettes carefully ever since scoring a German porn. Not a shy a cinema. Sorry, South Park alumni, but not all things Bavarian are third right and poop laden. No dice on titles triple X certified this evening. And I'm waiting in line in front of some woman I went to high school with. And she gives me that, oh, hey, I know you, smile. And I feign a sincere smile. But she looks offended, so I turn around and wait to pay for previously enjoyed bounty. And we're back into the night air. We have to pick up cat food. Not wet cat food, because Winifred Burkle, my fuzzy princess, only gets a teaspoon of wet food a day. And if she has more, she'll get sick. And I'm not going to support her bulimia. We needed dry food. And there was a pet store right beside the thrift store. So location, location, lactation. Except for when it's lactation. That's when chocolate milk seeps out of your nipples. I'm not a big fan of just pet food stores because there's no pets in them. I like pet stores filled to the brim with puppies and kitties and not so much with the fish and snakes. I'm not an exotic pet guy. Some friends have snakes and spiders and they tell me how much money the, the children of this rare breed of tiny monster would generate. Which always leaves me thinking that they want me to store these abominations in my house so that I can make fast, quick, easy money feeding and caring for a dozen baby Thailand mud snakes but these things could kill me easy one easy penetrable chomp on my flabby arm I work out but I don't really get muscular I guess I should, I should stop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I work out but I don't really get muscular I guess I should stop chasing my Gatorade with chocolate milk but it makes my pee pee glow in the dark don't believe me go try it right now I'll wait Dear Ryan Larry, upon listening to your episode involving sports drinks and chocolate milk, I turn, I in turn, threw up all over my limited edition Doctor Who bedspread. I will await your payment of $8,000, which is the cost of the bedspread that I projected by pulling the dollar value out of my ass. My ass, which is now crying because Gatorade and chocolate milk will burn the lining of your bum. So we go to the pet food store on the Friday night. Who knew that, that was, was going, going to be, be my adult, adult life? life? Friday night party. Woo! I'm going to go get me some cocaine and a single mother. Where do I get both? The strip joint. A strip joint is the Costco of single mothers and cocaine. Here's how you score either in one of those places. Go to the bar and say out loud, This place is pretty good, but I want to get me some real kicks. Within seconds, somebody will approach you with the deal of the century to speed up the process fan yourself cool with fifty dollar bills but you need at least three fifty dollar bills a couple of fifty dollar bills are nice to find in a vagrant that you just strangled but they do not inspire serviceability in the sacred halls of the erotic art of dance we go into the pet store pet food. we go into the pet food store there's a nervous looking woman standing at the checkout kiosk island in the middle of teeming shelves of dried kibble and squeak toys. I know an English girl who turned her vagina into a squeak toy. She could queef on command. It was hilarious unless you were laying down with your head in her lap, sobbing about the last girlfriend just dumped you because you couldn't recite all the Smiths albums. Well, I don't count compilation CDs as a regular release. 
That's a promotional item, like a t-shirt or a poster. It's not a real collection of music, it's a commercial. <laughs> it's a commercial, until they get back to creating something. But it's really hard to sob about these details while chunky English broads are pushing pussy stale air into your nostrils. No way. I go to the cat food shelf and I pick the product that went out of its way to list off beneficial qualities because most pet food is just wood chips and cardboard and that water from tuna cans. Eow! I pick the bag with the most beneficial qualities even if I know that these qualities you know, the qualities are blatant lies because I have an affinity to people that commit to the moment even when the moment itself is wrapped up in misled bullcrap beneficial qualities like a like a full coat the ability to speak Spanish and night propulsion which I'm assuming is the ability to propel night which may cause head spins or restless leg syndrome if you suffer from restless leg syndrome and you're offended by that reference good your disorder only falls behind sex addiction and compulsive gambling as Easily fixed disease. Sex addiction. Sex addiction. Ugh. Think about sex all the time and it's affecting your ability to function in society? Well, just think about something else. Mind over matter, dumbass. Can't stop throwing away your money on games of chance? Stay out of casinos and convenience stores that sell lotto tickets. Nobody's delivering blackjack tables to your house, schmuck. Suffer a strong urge to move your leg? Then get up and walk around, you simple-minded doofus. Maybe you were conceived with weak sperm, but you do not require medication. You need a stroll, you troll. I finally decide on a bulk bag of wood chips dipped in mercury-laden ocean fat fish. And the mercury is going to pollute my cat and rot out her ner central nervous system, making her look like Baghdad after being liberated. Up to the counter I stroll with my bag of poison and the pet store lady asks if I'm a member of the customer club. I say, no, I don't believe so. She says, are you sure you're not a member? I repeat, honestly, I do not know, which was the truth. I might be a member, but I don't remember filling out the form or anything, but I have shopped there before. So the answer is I might be. The woman rolls her eyes, reaches down, and pulls out four thick books of handwritten entries to see if I'm a member. I tell her I don't care about whatever discount or benefit I may have coming to me. I just want to pay for this one bag of wood chips dip to Mercury, and then get home so I can watch Glen Gary Glenn Ross for the 800th time. If you've never seen Glen Gary Glenn Ross, please do so today. It's dope, and it's fly. The girl behind the counter asked me twice if I really want to waive my entitlement to membership privileges. Haha, <laughs> member. <laughs> I assure her that whatever I have coming to me, I'm alright paying the full retail price. With taxes, the total came to $15.05. I gave her a $20 bill. She types the numbers of the transaction into the till, and the till freezes up, emitting a high-pitched... I'm not about to tip on cat food. So I ask her, what do we do now? She hits cancel on the cash register, pulls out a calculator. She requires a calculator to deduct what the change back from a 20 on a $15.05 charge is. Normally in the situation, I would give her $20 and a nickel and then take back a $5 bill. But I don't have any change. It happens. Maybe I spent the afternoon flicking them at Jehovah's Witnesses occasionally getting them in the eye, all the time asking them, where's your messiah now that I'm fucking you up with small change, babal banga? And they cry and wish diseases on me, which isn't a very Christian way to spend the day. But what can you do when good sense is taken away? Cashier lady gives me all the change in nickels. And I take that as a sign from the universe that I am to keep up the good work flipping coins at misled sycophants.